using for him is we'll start off at his basic attack uh, for his boomerang throw. We're using the special mod 1, so this way every fourth hit heals uh, Vivin for 1% of the max health once per boomerang throw. Um, this does not mean the way back, just the initial hit. Um, we're also using the special mod 3. Every fourth hit does bonus 20% uh, damage to humanoid enemies, and that's roughly almost a, a lot of enemies, probably about at least half. Um, then we're going to go down to what, the Call of the Ravens. Uh, we're going to max that out for three. We're going to take Hunt 1, Hunt 2, and Hunt 3 to increase the range. We're also going to take Birds of Prey 1, 2, and 3 to increase the size to hit uh, more of the uh, creatures or monsters. And then we're going to take one point in Vigor of Veals, one, to get the cooldown done just by one second. Then we're going to call, come over here and uh, get Call of Hearts, or what I like to call it, uh, the tree. Um, we're going to get three points in there just to increase its duration, which is nice. We're going to go into Regrowth 1, 2, and 3 to increase the max health per second. Then we're going to hit up the Toxic Seeds 1, 2, and 3 to add some poison damage as well. And then we're also going to do is get uh, Grasping Canopy 1, 2, and 3. That's just to increase the radius. Um, these can be optional. Um, we can talk about that in a second here, though. Uh, we, then this is kind of an important, I feel like, for the build. This is kind of what makes it in this sort is the Ring of Thorns. Uh, you only need one point in this. And then we're going to hit Bloom 1, Bloom 2, Bloom 3, and also uh, Carnivore. Uh, we're, you get four uh, like of the Meteor plants. If you notice, those are those red plants, and they do 200% physical damage. Uh, that's really good to put around uh, the uh, defense cone or uh, set it up for uh, around a boss. Stuff of that sort where they're going to be staying in place. Um, if you don't want to take the radius... What you can do is you can swap, I would take at least one, you can swap out those two points and then increase your uh, uh, Vigor of Veils up to three and you can start throwing those out more. I usually move use the Call of the Ravens for more of uh, there's a giant pack or if there's what I like to call the bigger monsters that have more health, the elite monsters. Those really will uh, kind of take care of them. Uh, I do not take any of these you do have the option to take toxicity um, changes the physical to poison uh, you would just take out the one point that you had left there um, so yeah that's the build I use currently for him for the gear um, it's not optimal yet um, but I, one of the main things you look for for DPS wise is you are going to go for strength then physical damage physical percent um, and then crit, crit chance. Uh, those are just the DPS. You should always look up, uh, look for defense as well, which the main stats for defense for this build is fortitude, uh, health, and armor in that order. If you can get fortitude, you go for health and then armor. If you if you can't get fortitude, you do armor then health, um, as well as if possible, try to max out on your resist. Currently, the scare. My resist is really low. Um, the higher resist cap on everything, the less damage your bearer will take uh, per hit for certain elements, which can dr dramatically keep them alive longer. Yeah, that's the the gear set and the abilities for them. Uh, let's go into show a a quick uh, um, gauntlet and also a uh, defense mission where this build shines. So with the gauntlet especially, what you kind of want to do is stay in the middle when you first start up. Uh, it helps uh, with gathering mobs. Uh, Ring of Thorns is really solid placing there because a lot of mobs will end up going into the middle to hit you or uh, Vevin. So it's a nice little spot. And what I like to try to do if I can is before the next wave go inside him, get a quick little heal on him, 
get the ring down on certain people. Uh, usually, uh, I like to call the mobs like elites where they do more damage. Right now, so like jump inside, you know he's about to die. We have a Minotaur here, so you want to put that down because he can do a lot of work or a lot of damage on Vivian. Uh, which is Vivian, is, which is like your bear. Preset up. Bring the Minotaur closer to your ring if possible so that your plants can do some physical damage on him. Go inside. Come out. You have a that going on so this you want know, to make sure you stay away the crows are coming in you can redirect the crows pretty well with your distance so it's never a bad option to like run around and let the crows hit more people uh, watch out for the specters they can do some work on him as well he doesn't really it's a little bug he usually like I messed up there and he's gonna start all over again with that he still always attacks the dead body. Um, that's just a current feature in the game for it. Place the ring down. That will help uh, help the bear over there deal with him. So now that he's somewhat low, what you're gonna want to do is bring him. Try to keep him in the circle as best as you can. So plug in there as well with him. I can heal him up. He might. Go, uh, yeah, you just gotta be careful. Go inside. It's just so like it's a cycle of you uh, swapping in and out as well. We're gonna send these out. We're gonna bring it back. Hit as many as we can. Get your mana up or your energy up. Sorry. Put it down. Right there. He's gonna miss out half of it because uh, he doesn't like to stay in there. It's always good to actually help out uh, your bear as well because with the damage of like where he's going, so this way you can stay consistent and then he can go around you kind of like when he's in defense which I like to play him in for the most part it's like you're kind of like the support for him like wherever he goes you should follow with your damage so there's a little bit of mobs you can bring them away hide them into your uh, into the vines get inside get some heals going get out See right here is a good spot to drop down your tree because he's going to be able to eat a lot of it. Go back in, hug the tree as long as you can, get inside of him, uh, come out. So he took a lot of damage because currently I'm lacking poison resist right now in this build. So good little setup is to do this, get the, get the tree down, go inside, uh, going to be stuck right here. It's not a bad option to send the birds out, try to reorganize it, or redirect it so that uh, it would hit the, um, the bull. Get inside. Help him out right here, he wants to attack him. Place the tree on top. Start working right here, because that tree will most likely poison damage and deal with a lot of it. This is a good time to drop the vines down. Just due to the fact that the spectrum is going to come over here. I would send the ravens out. Just to help out with the specter. Get inside the bear. Hold it, hold it. Get, drop down the tree there. You can hit this guy because he will drop poison. Uh, mess up and get whacked by one of the guys with the ice. That's okay. And we're, we're staying consistent right now. We're good. He's staying above health. Wait a moment. This is a good ring situation because he's going to the right. You can drag him all in. Scorpion down before he spawns eggs. Bring him back to the middle. Go inside. We have a specter here. Wait for the specter to land. Alright, he's landed there. So help your bear out right now. The giant over there is going to do a lot of work to him. So we're going to hit this guy really quick. Help him out. Uh, get hit because I'm not paying attention. Go inside right now really quickly because you don't want to dodge that hit. Ring right here. You can hit him. He's going to... Doesn't go. He goes down. Put the tree down. Start going. Start hitting. You're gonna just take a little damage here. Nothing crazy. Hold, hold, hold. Bears up again. So use use his positioning. All right. We should be good. Boss should be spawning soon. 
this boss in uh, the Gauntlet of One right now likes to teleport around, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky when he comes out. Not a bad spot to drop the tree, due to the fact that um, that guy's gonna come back up as well, taking some dot damage, go inside, get some health up before the uh, final wave comes. We have a little bit longer. Uh, watch out, this guy, the yellow elemental, will silence. So it's good to try to knock him down as fast as possible. I messed up there. That's my fault. I let you die here. I apologize. Final wave's coming. Try to get this guy cleared. So what you can do is, because he's down right now, you can hold off, send the raven out. Get out of, you know, always get out. This is going to be tough, because he's not going to stay in one place, so you're just going to use that more for, like, a heal, and then just damage him. it would be good. And congratulations, you just got all your loot. Well, so this build is really solid for uh, defense missions as well. I'm going to go into Desecrate. Level 49. The uh, Ring of Thorns is pretty solid for d helping defend as well as uh, the call of the uh, tree, is what I like to call it. Place it down. If you can set it up so like anytime you are uh, uh, placing the ring down, try to have it so at least a plant or a bit of it is uh, placed by it. And it comes down to just uh, remembering where you have to be on the map. So for instance, I just whiffed at that. Uh, remember elementals, this is somewhat I like to call elite, so throw down. Reposition the ravens. I messed up didn't, or didn't hit. Either or. Not a bad option just to put that down right there to hit those two wolves. Fight that guy. Give him some health for a little bit. Put the ring down. Should be good to hit everybody while you take care of with the... Do stuff with your bear. Due to the fact that I'm not currently resist cap, uh, a lot of damage will be taken out. Like, we'll go through and actually... Uh, hurt your bear that way. Uh, getting res cap is a pretty solid choice. I'm still lacking on the gear for that though. It's not bad to send out the ravens for this. Then reposition so it hits him. Get some damage in there. Try to kill this guy before the second one. Get inside, get some health going while you're waiting. You have a lot of mobs here, so put the ring down. That was actually like a solid ring. Drag them in. Help with damage. Clear up the guys that aren't getting hit by anything. Just go inside him, get some heals going. There's gonna be a lot of mobs here, so the, tr the tree down right there will actually heal him up. You take that to your advantage. He's roughly full health, you don't need to go inside. This is the final wave. For this boss, it's not hard. Per se, you just put the ring, try to position on top of him, the tree as well, and hold his drop. And you'll be able to be done with it then. It's, he's really solid for defense missions, uh, this build. Um, just gotta be careful with, um, due to what res you don't have, uh, be careful of the mobs. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the build. It's still currently a little bit of work in progress with the gear, but for the most part, you guys can uh, see uh, how it works. Um, make sure um, you check uh, the information down below. You can come into the Pagan Online Discord, as well as you can see my Twitch down there. You can watch me play this build and other builds online. I usually stream around 6 a.m. through 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I'll, I'll see everybody in the Pathion.